Today on this Millennial Review, we're going to be going ahead and setting up the Canon MG2522 printer. So if you have any questions on how to unbox it, get ink installed, get the printer head adjusted, and then of course getting it working on your computer fast and easy, well this is the video for you, so we're going to knock into that right now. So first things first, you can just cut the tape off of the top of the, uh, the printer here and it'll start to come out. And inside of the box, you're gonna get some instruction manuals, which is nice to use if you weren't watching this video. But then you're also going to get the black ink that comes with it, as well as the color ink. We'll wanna put those aside for later. You are going to get a power cord. This power cord goes into the wall and then into the back of the printer. So we'll put that aside. And then I really do like, it actually comes with a USB cable as well. Once those are out of the package, then I suggest you kind of lean the printer over, slide it straight out like that. And now we can use the box for our rubbish uh, as we get the rest of it unboxed. So you do get some owner's manuals. And inside of here, if your computer still has a CD drive, it does have the CD with the drivers on it, uh, but we'll be using the online resource and I'll show you that in a bit. Of course, owner manuals, those go to the side. And then to get this printer working and printing, all we're gonna do is kind of pull it out of the packaging, put that into the box that it came in. And then from here, we can pull our printer out of the plastic. So taking a look at the printer, there's a few things you're gonna notice. There's gonna be a whole bunch of these little orange pieces of tape. Those just pull off, kind of pull out like that to make sure that all of the parts didn't get damaged during transport. So just be somewhat careful as you do this, but uh, yeah, not too bad. Now, looking at the back of the printer, I'm gonna show you just a couple of things. This is where the power is going to go into the printer and then USB is on the other side. So power, USB, just like that. To begin setting up the printer, we're gonna go ahead and take the cable that came with the printer here and plug this side into the wall and the other side into the back. With the cable plugged into the wall, you can now take it and just slide it right into the back of the printer. Go ahead and spin the printer around and now you'll see we're ready uh, basically to get it started up here. So on the top of the printer, right up here, we've got a power button, which go ahead and turn that on. And then just below, we're gonna wanna open up this door. So in the door here, you're gonna see there's a color and a black portion. So we'll let this go ahead and stop moving, but you'll see right in there, got both of the spots for it. So color is gonna go on the left-hand side and black on the right-hand side. So with our ink, I'll start off with the color one. Basically, just open it right up, take the color ink cartridge out. We're gonna give it a good shake. Make sure that you don't touch any of this stuff, so shake it up nice and well. And then you can pull that little protective cover off and this is just going to slide straight in. And once it goes in, it's gonna kinda click into place there. Do the same thing with the black ink. Out it comes, shake it up real good. Black ink is there, so keep shaking. And then now, take the little cover, pull straight off. You're gonna see when I slide this in, it's gonna just slide into place, and then click up into its spot. Now, as far as getting a spot for all the paper to go, it's gonna come out here. So you just pull that out. And then up top is gonna be where your paper to send through is going to come from. You've got this little adjuster to adjust to different size papers, but we'll move it all the way over since I'm going to do the traditional eight and a half by 11. So that's gonna slide into place, get that clicked over. And now with ink inside of here, as well as with, uh, with a paper mounted up, I think it's time we get the drivers going so that way we can get it connected. Get the printer drivers all set up, just go to canon.com slash IJ setup, which stands for inkjet 
set up and it's going to bring us to a page where we're going to be able to get uh, all of the manuals and everything like that to get this going. So go ahead and click start setup here. So we'll start there. And this is a MG2522. Click that in there, click go. And now it's going to allow us to download the drivers, automatically figures out what, you know, what operating system you are so you don't have to worry about any of that. But once the driver is downloaded, just click on it, say yes, you want to run it. It's going to think just a little. I'm going to get all the software and the most recent drivers available. And then we're just going to follow the prompts. So next, it's going to think a little bit. Then it's going to ask us what we want to download. I'm going to basically uncheck everything except for the printer drivers. That way I don't get any extra bloatware that I don't need. Let's go ahead and click next. Yes. And allow it. So it's going to start to download here. Now, next thing it's going to need to do is get all the setup done. So we're going to want to manually plug it in to our computer at this point. Let's go ahead and take that cable plug that right into the back just like you saw when we were taking it out of the box where the plug-in was. And then once you've done that, you can take your USB and plug that into the computer. So once you do that, it'll automatically recognize. It's going to think just a little bit and it's going to get things going here. So first we need to do a printer head alignment. So this is going to make some noise, run for just a little bit of time. And so you'll hear kind of clinking and clacking, totally normal. And because we put that printer paper in, it's going to print out an alignment sheet for us to use here. And out will come your alignment sheet. So basically these colors and everything that are on here is gonna help it get everything aligned because from the factory it could have changed a little in shipping. So you see, it's gonna tell us to basically fold it down onto the print bed and then press the little black and white print button. So move this up just like this. It's gonna slide in top right corner, close it, hit that button, and that's gonna give the information to do the print head test. And then right on the screen, you'll see that's what it's doing right now. Printer head is aligning. And then right out comes some alignment values there. No idea what those mean, but what I do know is it says setup is complete and you can proceed to the next step. So just click next. It's connecting to get everything set up. And basically we're gonna be good to go here. So we agree to that. And it's successfully completed getting the, uh, the proper drivers and everything set up. And just like that, you're ready to print. So if you go ahead and you go to print, you'll now have in your dropdown the option to choose the MG2500 series printer. Click that, hit print, and it's gonna happen automatically. So if you enjoyed this video and it was helpful, please let me know that down in the comment section below. If you have any questions on how to do anything that we did today, be sure to leave those down in the comment section and I'll do my best to, uh, to get you those answers. And definitely hit subscribe so you can see more videos like this on how to make printers and other household devices work in your home too.